Hey everyone, I'm back with a basic black smoky eye tutorial for you guys. I'm starting with my RMK creamy foundation and just applying it with my fingers. Now start with your brows. You may check out my easy eyebrow tutorial for a detailed procedure on how to do this. Get a light brown matte shadow or bronzer and apply it on your crease. I apply it above my crease because I have a heavy fold. This will be your transition color for a gradient smoky effect. I'm using a pointed Wayne Goss brush so I can get into the crease and blend the shadow at the same time. For me, the quickest way to do a smoky eye is to use a pencil eye shadow. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Black Diamond Color Chameleon. Apply it on the lower part of your lid. You have about 5 seconds to blend it. After that, it will stay on for many hours. Blend it towards the crease and apply it little by little so you won't end up with a very lousy and messy smoky eye. I really like that the glitters of this color chameleon stays in place. Get a black eyeshadow, tap off the excess, and apply over it. Get the blending brush and just go backwards and forwards to blend it into the crease. Then apply a dark brown eyeshadow into the crease for a gradient dark to light smoky effect. Now blend the edges with a clean brush. We don't want any harsh lines. Then apply white or cream shimmer on the brow bone and on the tear ducts. Also apply the shadow crayon on the bottom lash line. Then blend with a brush or a Q-tip. Apply the same black eyeshadow on the lower lash line. After that, also apply the dark brown eyeshadow. Apply the light brown shadow you used earlier and just put it above your crease or on your crease just to blend it seamlessly. Apply a black coal pencil on your waterline. I am using the Max Molder. If you prefer to have a neater smoky eye that won't smudge, then use a gel eyeliner instead. Apply the eyeliner on your upper lash line to intensify the look. Connect the top and bottom eyeliner and then wing it out just to elongate the eyes. Apply falsies if you want to have longer lashes. Position your falsie as close to the lash line as possible and just fix the corners. Add more dark brown eyeshadow on the lower lash line and also on the crease. Ta-da! Now do the other eye. Apply your concealer after the smoky eye so you can erase any of the fallouts. Today, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Since I find the shadow here too low, I'm cleaning it out with a concealer. Then blend that shadow with a Q-tip so you won't have that concealer line. Now blend the concealer. For today, I'm using the MAC 217. I am using the Maybelline Gel Liner to blacken the glue on my falsies. Then curl your falsies and lashes together. Now your smoky eyes are done! Now, let's finish off the look by concealing any redness and also by contouring. You may check out my contouring and highlighting video to see a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, I'm using the Film Star Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. Line your lips with a natural lip color to avoid lipstick feathering and also to define the lips. Then, apply a nude lip color. This is the Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury. It is a nice nude color that isn't too pale for my skin tone. Just apply it all over your lips. Then apply a light pink gloss at the center of your lips to add depth. Then apply a light pink blush on your cheekbones. Then apply the Chanel Le Beige to set the makeup. Now finish off the look with a highlighter on the high points of your cheek. Now you're done. Thanks for watching. Bye! Remember to subscribe to Beauty Lista.